Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's the uh, end of April and it's been a pretty strange and busy month this month for me so I've pretty much only been to the main supermarket type outlets and uh, let's see what kind of cars uh, I've been picking up, shall we? So, uh, we'll look at these cars first. These are um, what I would call uh, tuned or fantastic. They're almost realistic as well. and. Uh, I'm actually going to have a look at these cars. These are all uh, from Powerland, I believe. If you look on the back there, there's the American car. No, it's not. It's kind of a European. I want to say it's a. I was going to say American, but that is very international, isn't it? I haven't really looked at these, uh, you know, before I showed you. Here we look, Canada, Patum. There you go. Well, it's been a very Canadian month. Um, if you've watched my uh, last video, you'll see why. Yes, thank you again, Mr. Diecast, for such a blast. And I had to open this little thing up. This is mental. This is a little uh, Formula One car, presumably, with the uh, tuned engine on the back there. When I first saw this car, I thought that that was saying Asda. But now I look at it again, it's Asada. And she's called Head Starter. And another reason I picked this one up as well, because it reminded me seriously of the uh, old super fast cars from way back with the, uh, the big head. If you remember, there's a Volkswagen and a Mini. I've got them both in my collection. I thought... That was a rather peaky sitting next to him. Looking up there. Uh, the other one is this one here. This is uh, Tarmac Attack. Another little Formula One jobby. So uh, we'll have a look at that as well. This is, seems to be a bit more of a recent uh, Formula One car, probably from the, uh, you know, from the, the Nowies. Very, very interesting squat little thing. Quite cute, not my usual kind of purchase. What's that say on the base there? 2012, so yeah, of course, yeah, it's been around for a while. Very nice, kinda. Again, it's got a little man in there, but not quite as funny as that little man. I rather like that little man. Uh, and we also bought this one here, this is the Lamborghini Countach tuned variation. Uh, I like Lamborghinis, and I thought I might as well just pull the trigger on this one because I never had never I've never seen one in the flesh. So I believe there's a new version as well, red one out as well already. I like the way this has been tempered up and detailed. There's something uh, very very cool about this this piece. You know, I just don't, it, it 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 entertains me. because I do like 32 Fords and I noticed that this one had an interesting variation there on the uh, intake so had to have that one um, we have another variation on the Momo uh, Cafe Racer this one is in black instead of red I actually prefer it in black uh, I nearly didn't buy it because I already had the red one but um, wow this black one is pretty mean looking and it's kind of nice having two I guess of different shades it's another one like that BMW, it's probably going to pull, suck me in, spit me out and make me keep on purchasing uh, different variations because I can see this one coming out in all kinds of liveries. Nice, nice piece. Got another one of these Datsun 620s, I just got one of these. Um, I'm not officially collecting all of the variations, but I kind of am. Uh, so every time I see a different one I will pick it up. And I do have quite a few variations on this one now, and I'm sure everybody out there has, has as well. There's probably maybe one or two that I'm only missing. So that's a very cool, cool piece. Nice to see. This one was actually from Asda, which uh, was a bit weird. It's on a wonky car. That's because I probably squashed it in my shopping bag. And I'm sure I got this one from Poundland. There we go. This one's definitely an American card. There we go. It's completely in uh, English. There we go, Fright Cars, and I think this one 
I'm not much mistaken, is the treasure hunt. Now I picked it up not because it was a treasure hunt, but because it was a fangular. And I'm not 100% sure whether I actually have this particular fangula or not. I probably have got it. So I'm not going to rip this one open for a minute until I go through my fangulas. Currently all my uh, collection is in boxes and it's kind of scattered around the house. And oh yes indeed, and this probably for me is the Hot Wheel find of the month. It's going to be the Ford GT race car. Wow, that is wicked. And it, it's kind of completing my uh, Ford GT uh, collection for the minute. So uh, I'm feeling the urge to do an update of the Then and Now video, which um, I made a long time ago. So if you look back in the, uh, the records, you will see that particular video. If you want to watch it, maybe for another month, and then hopefully I'll be making the new video. So, and I'll get rid of the old video because uh, I've got some lovely, lovely new GTs to show you. And isn't that fantastic in the Ford racing colors? And, uh, wow. Let's get into some Matchbox. It has been a tricky month for Matchbox. The first thing I found in Matchbox uh, for this month was this piece here. This is the Lamley's Leaks Ford F150 SVT Raptor. Uh, I don't believe I actually had this model which is a bonus. And then, uh, of course, it's uh, got your man Lamley on there. Um, kind of a, a YouTubing uh, sensation. Uh, I know it all of the car world. So, uh, obviously, if you're into diecast, then you m must have heard of the Lamley, the Lamley uh, situation. And there we go. So, quite a historical little car to have. And then, all of a sudden, I was in Asda. And I came across this. This was the only new car I could find that I didn't have. I was thinking, this is amazing. I kept on going to Asda after that, going to all the different Asdas I could think of, just to see, because they, they seem to have had this new matchbox situation. This one here, I know it's not new, maybe in the United States, but in the UK, to me, this is a new, new piece. And uh, really, I'm kind of enjoying it, actually. Um, I think everyone's seen it. So, uh, but I haven't. <laughs> Something rather cool about it. I'm not sure whether I drive down the road with my tent open though, but uh, I'm sure people do in emergencies. Well, I kept on going and literally a week ago, I went in there and I found this taxi. This is awesome. This is the uh, Toyota Prius taxi. Now I bought two purely because you always see taxis in a line. There's a couple of them. And I re recall going to uh, Los Angeles and uh, I actually saw these uh, cabs in Los Angeles, yellow versions of this Prius cab. Very popular out there, of course, in California because of all the special laws and stuff. And uh, rather splendid to have a couple of, uh, I, want, I would say, Los Angeles ca taxi cabs. I'm sure they, uh, they're everywhere now in America. It's just I haven't really been anywhere else other than Los Angeles and Florida. And I don't recall seeing them in Florida, to be honest. And there you go, really, really cool, with the little taxi sign on the top there. I don't know if it actually says taxi, does it? It seems, to, it might well do actually. Who knows? It does, doesn't it? Does it? Who knows? Oh, come on, let's get one out. <laughs> Hanging around like that. Let's check it out properly. Nice. Now, I do recall this one came out in a green livery before. Well, I don't think that does say, oh, it does say taxi. There it is. You can just make it out to ax e. Yes, indeed. That is a very, very tight, tight little car. I love it. I can't remember it ha actually having the uh, the taxi sign on the original release, which is unusual. But good to see, though. Actually, Matchbox uh, doing a very, very cool job on this one. Nice and simple. But all the stuff you bet you need is there. Really well. Here they are, 
I've got to move on to that one next. This is cool. I only got it because it's cool. I mean, how cool is that? Range Rover Evoke, black on black, with black, murdered to, to the mitten. Look at that. Fantastic. Range Rover Evoke. There it is. It's all written there. A very cool casting. Um, I like it. Not as much quite as the uh, Majorette, but it does speak to me. It is a good piece, that one. And uh, here's a strange one. I kind of had to have it. I, can't, I do like, I collect Corvettes. Uh, I, I have to admit that now. I admit that openly to the world. I love Corvette Stingrays. I can't help myself. And uh, this C7 is pretty wicked. This is a C7 Polizei car. Now, Frisian diecast, I know you're going to watch this. Is that for real? Now, I can see it going around a track with the lights on the top. I can't quite imagine it being a police car in the beautiful country of Deutschland. But funnily enough, it does look aw awesomely epic. Maybe they should do this one in the Abu Dhabi uh, style. That would probably look a little bit more realistic. And finally, from my uh, Matchbox haul, I found this little old piece. This is the 2016 Fiat 500X, and it's the extra big. Look at that, it's got four doors there. They stuck a like a roof rack on the top there as well, just to uh, help with the luggage load. This, these cars are actually uh, bigger than you think. Um, they're much bigger than the, uh, the actual normal 500. Um, so it would be quite cool to compare this to its uh, baby brother sibling. There we go. But this is the first time I've seen this in the UK. I'm not sure how many boxes back this came out. Probably January in America, maybe before. So there you go. Crazy, that's how far behind we are. Okay, let's have a look at some other stuff. Before I get into the, uh, the loose happenings, uh, I want to explain about this bus. I'm going to open this up um, a little bit later. So uh, hang, hang tight and we'll check that out, okay? Right, the first thing I want to show you then is some of the loose cars I got. Picked up some uh, good old Matchbox uh, Superfast. Um, I found this in the strangest of places, uh, not somewhere I would normally go hunting. And I probably will go back there again. He, this guy gets the odd die cast piece in there, mainly uh, specialised in uh, little plastic figures, you know, the superhero types and all the Yu Gi Oh! Cho and Pokemon Man and all that business. So, yeah. This was unusual to see, but the great thing about this, I mean, the gun's broken, but all the little heads are there, so that's nice. Little, the old troop transporter, there she is, personnel carrier. Kind of pretty cool, really. I will, every time I see these, I will pick them up. This one wasn't super cheap, but it wasn't ridiculously expensive either, so. Yes, I found three cars, spent a total of 60p, <laughs> and these see why. Yeah, this is rather interesting. This is a, obviously it's a BMW, I don't know if that's obvious, but there you can see that now, yes, BMW, has opening doors, um, they are a bit um, interesting, could do with a little bit of uh, line work. Now, I don't think it's bent, it's just badly cast, it's a very, I mean, let's check that out. It's just quite nastily put together. And this is uh, actually, you're never going to guess it, maybe by the wheels. Everyone's probably thinking Hongwell or Summer. It's actually a Corgi made in China. So this is a Corgi piece right from the very, very end of the Corgi, uh, Corgi life uh, pre-Mattel, really. And um, as you can see, it was suffering severely. But this is actually quite a heavy piece. It's metal base, metal body. Uh, apart from these nasty wheels, that's uh, a big, big no-no really for me. These wheels—they're quite—they uh, look wrong on a corgi. 
it's, it's got a lot of very nice features and I'm sure with a little bit of uh, love and care and craft this could actually come back to being a rather cool piece uh, obviously the droopy doors would need attending to but uh, yeah actually rather splendid um, another piece I found was this super fast little super fast uh, it's kind of a high lift uh, industrial forklift truck as you can see and it's called the Sambron Jacklift there we go this is the kind of thing you'd see uh, lifting up big crates at the um, dockside or maybe on a building site or something like that you know when you have to you've got lifting up big pallet loads of stuff it actually quite nicely lifts up this uh, this old car here <laughs> dumps it it will dump it on top of there probably let's have a go in the scrapyard with you go on there we go beep 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 push it in there look there we go perfect there we go fantastic also what haul would be complete without a bus brilliant it's a blue bus which is great because that makes a change from the old uh, red buses you see blue buses around um i think blackpool has them and places like that so yes yeah, just a little bit more unusual this one actually to me looks like it's been modeled off of the tomika bus could be wrong it could actually be the real toy version i'm not sure i know i've seen this cast line around somewhere it actually says on the bottom just made in china it's a wilkinson piece so it could be pretty much any kind of uh, manufacturer that's uh, jumped on the, the wagon here and just printed up a load of cheap cars for them but i think if i remember rightly i've seen this one in like a little three pack you get like a taxi a bus and a post box or something silly you know a policeman waving at your parking man with a parking ticket thing waving it i can't remember it's just a funny little london set but yeah wilkinson's there you go. I'm sure, it's a, is it a real toy? I can't remember. But anyway, nice to have just the bus and not all the other rubbish that went with it in that in the little set. And finally, probably the best super fast I found is this piece here. Now I know, yes, 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 the signs are a bit worn, the stickers are falling off a little bit. It's a little bit chipped, and that is a bit worse for it. It hasn't got a ladder, and what else is wrong with it? Quite a few things really. Scra a bit scratchy around the windows. But uh, fantastically enough, this is the transition piece for this. This is number 57. Way back, one of the earliest pieces I found was the uh, the metal, uh, not metal, the, uh, hot, the black, black plastic wheel version of this. And I've got a few variations of that. And I've also got one of those with a ladder. But incredible, I found this piece here. And this is great transition work because this has got the special black tabs that hold the uh, super fast suspension in place as you can see it's got the skinny super fast wheels from the early 1970 period and this is probably you know probably survived uh, a year before it was uh, taken out of service so actually this particular piece is actually probably very rare with these little wheels on so condition not particularly brilliant it's not particularly bad though in fact in some ways I think it's probably better than some of the black plastic wheel ones that I've ever found but uh, still nice to see and, and scarily this one has a plastic base which uh, as you can see there kids weren't used to plastic bases in those days especially on their uh, on their super fast we, we always liked our metal bases so i'm sure this one probably got extra pushed in there by accident probably but anyway there you go and that is the number 57 i'm gonna say yes there we are land rover fire truck the old nose sitting right over the top of the engine. Splendid. <laughs> Some of the star finds. Loose. I literally picked this one up today. This is a Siku R. Eight, Audi R8 Spider. Isn't she beautiful? Majestic and sparkling and in very, very good condition. You look around there, there's the number of the car. Absolutely gorgeous. 
looks like it's ready to hit the, the auto barn and give it some welly. Very nice indeed. Took some good pictures of this one actually, very easily. It's a very nice car to photograph that was. As you can see, it's got the plastic insert lights and tail lights and rubber tires. Beautiful. Okay, talking about Siku, I found this one. This is from my shop, this is super cheap as well. I'm gonna save this one for the Siku Shorty series, which I'm going to be doing shortly in a Siku situation. <laughs> Very nice, this is a uh, combine harvester. I've never seen the Siku combine harvester before. So uh, that is going to be interesting for them people that like uh, farmyard gear. Greenlight Supernatural Chevrolet Impala Sports Sedan. That flag does not come with it. <laughs> it's just a, it's just something I found uh, at the same time as I got the car. I, I went to a um, an American diner for lunch that day, uh, pretty much straight after I bought this car from the same shop, ironically, as I got this thing. And it was sitting there. This is what I was after. I put it on the shelf. Five pounds. I thought that was pretty good. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. We'll look around the box very quickly, actually. I should have shown you that, shouldn't I? It gives you all the interesting information. It tells you that this car has been specially made for Loot Crate. And uh, gives you a little bit of history of the car itself. So you can pause there. Pause. And there we go. It's 2015 model. There we go. There we go, so it's very unusual, it's special in a box like this, so it can fit in a special loot crate that you would get probably, I don't know, on Amazon or something like that. They send you a load of junk from America to uh, peruse through, and uh, this obviously was in there, and the person who got this must have thought it was junk and decided to part with it. And more's the merrier, because I'm happy to uh, pick it up, because this is, for me, this is not junk, this is awesome. Fantastic, looks engine bay detail. What really, really appealed to me was the interior. Look at all that detail inside there. Whoa, it's all going on. Everything's in there, all the seats. That's fantastic. Two-tone seats, you've got dashboard, everything. It's all happening. It's got lensed, lensed rear lights and painted uh, just on the metal front lights. Funny thing about this one, I've noticed uh, on all these models other than this one, this one's got a plastic base. Um, I think all the other releases I've seen have had metal bases. And another interesting thing is that tail. Can we actually see the license plate on there? Let's have a look. It is indeed the Kansas license plate. There we go. Now with that, I think that might mean some something to other people because there's an Ohio license plate as well. So there you go. find there it is a 2000 uh, sorry I'm not sure when what year this came out but this is the uh, 007 GoldenEye BMW Z3 whoa check that out let's have a look at the base there it's gonna say 2002 yep there it is 2002 it's everywhere 
This is kind of at the end of the uh, Johnny Lightning in the UK period, I believe. And a lovely piece to add to my little uh, Johnny Lightning collection that is slowly building up. Mostly with these uh, funny old uh, 007 cars. Now, as fantastic as it is to find this Johnny Lightning, this one is flawed. You see on the back there, it's got some great stuff. I mean, obviously it's not cut in half yet, which is good. But what I didn't really like was, can you see around the front mudguard there? Look at that. It's a little bit burry and a bit nasty, isn't it? Just underneath the bonnet there. Now, I'm not sure if that will smooth out once I push the bonnet down. I don't know. It just, to me, just looks a little bit dodgy. But the rest of the car... All other angles, beautiful. I hope the other side is uh, more photogenic than this side. But there we go. A very unusual, tricky little find. The Johnny Lightning 40th anniversary. 007Z3. Fantastic. Okay then, so who wants to see the Boris bus? I guess if you've uh, stuck around this long, then that's going to say, yes you do. It's time to have a look at this piece. And it's awesome. It's, this is a Corgi Best of British. Well, we'll have a quick look around the box. There we've got the thing out. There's a few pieces you can buy in the Best of British range. Of course, the bus that we've got there. We've got the old Routemaster. I don't recall seeing that one just yet. We've got a very large scale taxi. There is a tube train. Imagine that, having a tube train. Tempting, I'm not sure. There's a classic Mini and, of course, Tom Korski, what a beautiful thing. But I had to have a Boris bus, so let's check it out. Now it comes uh, completely, I would say, tied down. So let's see if we can get it out of here. I, I, don't, I really don't want to rip the packaging just yet because um, I don't have loads of storage facilities right now. But I do have a place to keep buses. It's looking to me like it needs to come off there. Wow, here we go. Come on. This unscrews. It's an unscrewer. See this? It's a screw. And there we go. The bus has been released. Whoa. Now these um, Corgi Best of British, this bit one in particular, uh, this was because... Uh, I'm not sure my haul... My haul wasn't massively expensive this month and I guess I just thought I'd treat myself. This was uh, just under a tenner, this piece. This is a brand new piece from Corgi. Brand new in the shop, sitting on the shelves. It's just spectacular. Of course, it's a hybrid bus, which means it runs on uh, electric cells as well as an engine. Look around the bottom there, normal uh, combustion engine. What that's for. <laughs> You kind of hope that it would make a funny noise. Oh no, it's just uh, holding that bar on. You can see up there, look, look at all that detail. You've got the stairs going up. And I'm guessing the front there, there's some more stairs going up. It does look like there is inside there. Yes, there are, look. So you can get up to the front of the bus and sit in there. And this one's going to Piccadilly Circus, which is one of my favorite places in London. I always seem to end up in Piccadilly Circus. And, you'll, and you will see these buses in Piccadilly Circus, Oxford Circus, Leicester Square, all that area. This is where this bus hangs out. It's awesome, isn't it? And the best thing about this is, I'm sure, 99% sure that these buses are running in at uh, around about 164 scale. So here's your bus. Here's a 164 Impala pulling up next to it. There you go. Wouldn't it be nice if it was 164? <laughs> wow it kind of looks like if you think now that's the thickness of the road here's a car it's, I would guess that that is around about 164 it doesn't look silly it does not look silly up against that car it sort of looks looks about right there we go look so where's, where's another car Give me a taxi. There we go, look. That's, that's kind of right. Yeah. It does. It looks just perfect. 
So that's kind of what I've been after, some 164 buses and lorries and bits and pieces just to make up some scenery, you know. That's brilliant, look. Loving it. So there you go. There's the Boris bus. This is K5 saying thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this month's haul. It has been a little bit limited, but uh, I've done my best to pick up some nice stuff. Look at that. Um, and uh, there you go. So, ta ta for now. Bing bing! <laughs>